Nearly 20 years ago, I founded the Klaus Schirer Stiftung. This foundation supports the sciences. In 2013, I started a new one, the Heidelberg Laureate Forum Foundation. Our goal is to promote mathematics and computer science and the public understanding for them. In the Laureate Forum, we intend to bring together the winners of the most prestigious awards with the most promising young researchers from all over the world. They all meet in Heidelberg. Heidelberg is a legendary city, and it is a perfect place to have this kind of a meeting. Not only is it a beautiful city, but it's steeped in history. It's steeped in the whole story of science and technology and mathematics. I can't think of a better location to have the Heidelberg Forum. The idea behind the HLF is to bring young researchers from computer science and mathematics together with the famous people in their fields in order to have them exchange ideas, visions, strategies, how to become a scientist, how to pick a good subject, uh, how to interact with other scientists, so to pass on the torch to the next generation of scientists. The young researchers get a lot of inspiration and uh, profit very much from early contact with the prize-winning laureates. My hope is that many young researchers will find a role model and uh, not only get inspiration, but uh, also kind of friendship. I think it's very important for, for the new generation to hear kind of the experiences of the older generation. And to, to really to understand that you really only get one life to live. If you're going to do world-class research, it better be research that you really enjoy and believe in. It's sort of very clear that in our lifetime, you know, science, mathematics, technology has pushed the world forward. And we need more and more people who understand the issues. I did not know what to expect before coming here. I mean, they are the big stars of their field, so I was not sure whether they would have some attitude or whether it would be difficult to approach them. But I was, I was completely taken back and surprised by the way they are approachable. They come to you, they talk to you. They are very sociable and you can just talk to them. It's, it's very easy. But having someone to talk to who understands what it is you're trying to do and is sympathetic to uh, the struggles that you have is hugely helpful. Seeing that the Dolores had the same problems that I have uh, gives me the motivation, the power um, to rise above my problems. I've learned more than I've learned in years, and my horizons in every topic have expanded. Everything you want uh, was present in the young researchers here. I think there was a passion for learning, there was an international distribution, yeah, there was a lot of curiosity. I liked the fact that uh, they were not shy to approach people. I think that's one thing we learned from the laureates is the huge level of intellectual ambition across fields that they have, the huge level of curiosity. It's not just about things within their own field, but um, across the sciences, and they're just so eager and so excited to learn. Even a incredible, you know, Newton-like thinker got ideas from other people. The talks have been just outstanding. Uh, e even though I'm, I'm in the field and I know all, all of these researchers, just to hear them talk even gives me a great view of, of the area. Well, I particularly like it that we had a joint conference with computer scientists. I like computer scientists. They're very creative people. And uh, lectures on theoretical computer science, it was wonderful mathematics. They are mathematicians. And even when I listened to lectures where I didn't understand anything, it was still very interesting. 
With my foundations, I also try to raise public awareness for mathematics and computer science. The photo exhibition that we had in the city center is just telling people that there are some brilliant scientists visiting Heidelberg. Also, some of the laureates talk to high school students. The scientists get in touch with the people of Heidelberg. I found Heidelberg very lovely. It's a very nice atmosphere in which to sort of allow your thoughts to percolate. So you have all of these thoughts from meeting these amazing people. And then the city is just somehow very open and very airy and you can develop these thoughts and allow them to kind of ferment.